Hey guys, today we're taking a look at Discotech's highly anticipated Uderse Yatsura Blu-ray Set 1. <laughs> so, Uderse Yatsura was a series released way back in the day. It premiered in 1981 and it lasted to 1986, I believe, in Japan. The series was licensed in the US years ago by Animego, and they released the whole show on several single individual DVDs. And if you were collecting the show at the time, you're <laughs> you're pretty cool because I remember seeing those all the time like at different like like Suncoast and Sam Goody sometimes and they looked like there was a ton of volumes for those but now it's on Blu-ray and it'll be spread across four Blu-ray sets so pretty cool and um yeah <laughs> so this is Rumiko Takahashi's first big series um it's pretty much a comedy show and if you're used to her kind of style, this is where everything comes from, deviates from. So Uderse Yatsura is a series that revolves around Ataru Moroboshi, who's this little guy right here. And he is kind of, he's a little, he's a lady chaser, you know? He's always hitting on girls, asking them out on dates, tr chasing them. And he has like this, his, probably his best trait is his ability to never give up. Unfortunately, he uses it to towards chasing women so yeah once he puts his mind to something he is stuck on it so if you're a lady watch out <laughs> but anyway um, one day these invaders from space show up at his house and he is set to save the world kind of or else they'll take it over so um <laughs> it's funny and um so he has to get the horns of this girl lum and if he does, the Earth is saved. If not, the aliens will invade it. So, Ataru attempts to grab Lum's horns, but Lum, being an alien, she has special lightning powers and she can fly and, yep, makes it harder for Ataru to grab her horns. But through sheer luck, will, and determination and a little pervertedness, he's able to grab her horns and ha now he has somehow become um, her darling, which means they are set to be married or married in her eyes and this puts a damper on Atara's victory because He like he's like I said, he's a lady chaser. He doesn't want to be stuck to one girl um, This character is Shinobu his on and off girlfriend and she does not like Lum at least at first She's always annoyed with Atara's antics and jealous of Lum here. We have Mandal who is new at the time new student to Tomobiki school and he's kind of like a rival for Lum's affections too and thinks Ataru's an idiot. This guy's insanely rich. Down here we have Cherry who's like this monk. His niece Miss Sakura over right here. She's like um, another monk priest character and she's the school nurse. Here we have Ten who is Lum's cousin from the same world and yeah <laughs> that's pretty much what the show is all about. It's pretty episodic. It has no like big storyline or plot, but you can pop in as long as you know the characters. And I kind of call it like a comedy sitcom <laughs> because it really has no like big plot. You can just pop in and it's fun. Pretty much that's what Uder Seyatsura is about. And if you like what's on this set, then you'll probably enjoy the next three. But anyway, we're talking about that so long. Here's the cover, Lum and all the characters in the show. Here's the spine. A little different from the movies. Um, I have the movie sets right here in case anyone wants to see what these might look like on your shelf. So kind of like that. Not bad. <laughs> Here's the back. Um, some screenshots from the series. Depending on who you're talking to, the animation does look a little dated. But it was a very popular style from the 80s, and I like it. It's, it's kind of timeless. So it says, grab her by the horns, and she just might become your darling. So if you don't know Rumiko Takahashi, she is known for tons of work. Um, she's done Mason Koku, she's done Ranma One Half, she's done Inuyasha, she's done Rene, she's doing Mao as her current manga series, she's done Mermaid Saga. Tons of shows, tons of different series. The woman can do it all. So this was the slipcover. There aren't any extras, and this is only subtitled, just like how it was released back in the day. And there are different dubs out there. 
but discotheque wasn't allowed to use them. So there's like a UK gag dub. There's different there's different versions, but yeah, definitely check take a look at them. It would have been fun if they were on here, but I'm just happy to have the show. So here are the Blu-ray disc. Each one has about 13 episodes or so. I think the last one has four. But yeah, episodes one through 54. Not too much on extras, but like I said, it's just really good to have the show. This series kind of clocks in almost at 200 episodes, so Discotech releasing it at all is <laughs> it's, it's a miracle. So if you guys don't know what Uru Seyatsura is, or anything like that, you'll know that it has a reboot right now. It's kind of like the best of the best um, chapters getting anime adaptations with a shiny new coat of paint. The animation looks really good. I can't wait to watch it. But in the meantime, we have the 80s show. This is the insert for the Blu-ray um, case. So we have Lum and all the characters, some who haven't appeared yet. We have the, the cat and the English teacher. We have Ron there. Ryanosuke up there, the character who dresses like a boy, who's a girl, all because of her dad. <laughs> yeah, this looks really fun. Ataru, Lum, of course. But yeah, I really like this set. Be beautiful presentation from Discotech. The video quality is amazing. The subtitles read really well. And yeah, if, you've, if you're a fan of this show, um, it's definitely worth the uh, upgrade. Or if you never owned it, definitely. Pick it up. It's it's great. It's fun. And I like it. Like I said, dysfunctional comedy sitcom in anime form. But I think that's about it. So, like I said, definitely give the series a check. And, um, yeah. Make sure to check out the reboot, too. And remember, the movies are also available from Discotech. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. I will see you next time. See ya.